Hello, my lovely ladies. Welcome back to a, another video. This is going to be kind of a little bit different. I mean, it's a try on. We're going to try on some spring dresses, things that I feel like could really work for Easter, uh, that I feel like are modest enough for church Easter Sunday kind of a thing. Everybody has different rules about modesty, so please don't come for me. For me, the rule is I don't want any T's and no V hanging out. Keep those things put away. Those are kind of my big, big rules. Uh, there's some other things, but I feel like if as soon as I say that these are modest, somebody's going to click on this and be like, that's not modest. Everyone has different standards for that. Like, that's kind of like the jumping off point for me in determining if something's appropriate. Anyways, we're already getting off the rails and we haven't even started. So let's try some stuff on. Y'all can let me know down in the comments the things that you like, you think I should keep. That looks great or no, I don't like that, whatever. Y'all can let me know down below in the comments. But I'm just going to try some things on. This is stuff that I just ordered to test uh, and see if I find any Thing good any hidden gems if you will I will tell you the sizes of things as we go through but I will also link them down below and put the sizes and everything down there in the description box as well just for those of you who like to skip ahead and can't tolerate all of my droning on and on I can't help it it's who I am let's go come on let's go okay this is the first dress and I have to say I'm off to a good start people we're off to a good start the blue color is very just springy I've got my white sandals but here's what i like about this one is you kind of have multiple ways to wear it so you can pull this all the way up and really feel like you have you know coverage um, or and how i feel like it kind of naturally wants to go maybe that's me maybe that's my body shape or the way that it fits me or something and if i remember correctly in the pictures she's wearing it kind of like off the shoulder like that which i think is very cute however I also understand if you're wearing this for like Easter to church, you might not want to do this number, but it does obviously look super cute up as well. We're just like a little bit over. I like the smocking here. The smocking goes just below the boobs. So it typically hits you at what's the smallest part of your waist, you know, like an empire waisted kind of thing, and then flows out from there. It is nice and flowy. It is not a clingy fabric which is great. Who likes clingy fabrics? Nobody. It is a little teeny bit see-through in the sense of like color. I'm not sure how y'all can see it here, but in the mirror over here, I can see my hot pink underwear <laughs> underneath it. It's not so see-through that I think you need a slip or something, but just want to wear nude underwear uh, or black underwear, depending on your skin color, if that makes sense. So you know, you know what color underwear you need to wear you should know what color underwear you need to wear for the nude effect, depending on what color your skin is. I'm wearing a medium in this and it fits great. So you guys weigh in in the comments for me down below. Keep, not keep, what say ye? What say ye, town square? What say ye? Then we have this little like crochet sweater and I was kind of humming and hawing about keeping it uh, or returning it and maybe going up a size. I got a small in it. It's from The Drop on Amazon and I do feel like it's the one shop that I tend to size up in is The Drop. But I did get a small in this um, and I think it would be really cute over this dress. So that's what I wanted to show you because I do feel like spring this season is the season where so these dresses are like great, but not till like after lunchtime. Before lunchtime, it's cold. Or if you just want something cute to wear over it, like I said, for church, maybe you just don't want like, I don't know, sometimes I want, sometimes I want to put my arms away and other times I'm okay with them being out. But um, now, I mean, the dress is like a kind of a white and blue and this is more of a cream, but I still think that it's just cute and comfy. It's like the perfect just tossing over dresses kind of little sweater because it is cropped. So you're not gonna have to deal with a whole bunch of extra fabric and it's uh, the crochet, so it's airy. It's a spring summer sweater, right? So this isn't gonna keep you warm. I like it. Okay. This next dress, I really, really like this dress. I do think that I should have gone up a size. So this one is a small and um, well, I will see how well you can see without me getting too graphic here. It's pulling right there. I do think I would probably need a medium to keep that pulling from happening and also to help this part, the elastic part hit better where it's supposed to. So I think I have to return this for a medium instead of a small, but otherwise I absolutely love this dress. It has kind of the sheer sleeves and then you've got a lining underneath that goes to just above your knees. 
the lining is like sewn into the dress and it goes to like just above your knees and then is sheared below that. And that's also where the buttons stop, which I think is actually really pretty because it gives it kind of a pretty movement when you walk. It just has like a very nice, natural, pretty flow to it. I don't know if you can see my shoes, hold on. So I'm just wearing like closed toed, like kitten heel type things with it, which I like with this dress. You could totally do sandals, but you can also do closed toed shoes, which again, for me, like on an Easter Sunday dress, I kind of want closed toed shoes. Like I said, it's still just not totally warm. So closed toed shoes are my favorite in that regard. I really like this one. Y'all tell me what you think, yay or nay, keep or don't keep but I think it's really pretty. It's very flattering. Um, it doesn't cling and hit in weird places. Also not see-through. Can't see my hot pink underwear through this one. So you can wear whatever underwear you want. This dress is actually not from Amazon. This dress is from H&M. I adore it. And I'm gonna tell you why I adore it. I adore it because, well, one, the color, this like sort of minty green. It reminds me of dinner mints. Do you guys remember dinner mints? But also it has this kind of like retro vibe to it with the pleating, it's a very retro look. Um, it's, you know, ties at the waist here, ties right here. So I do have it tied right here, but you don't have to. Obviously you can wear that part untied. It's not, you know, boobalicious or anything necessarily. I suppose if you bend over, it might be. So you've got options there, tied or untied. The arms are very flowy and loose which is very forgiving. The older I get, the more that I like things to cover my arms. Maybe one of these days I'll hit the gym and work on my arms so I'm not as self-conscious about them, especially in a nicer dress. There's something about my arms showing in a nicer dress that feels casual to me. Um, so again, an Easter dress. This is super cute. Like I said, it kind of ties at the waist here. So it'll give you a waist. You don't have to wear the tie. You could untie it and just have it be like very loose and flowy. Um, but I do think it obviously like helps with the pleating and stuff. And I'm not always the best at tying things like that, right? Okay, so you could wear it like that. Now, if I was gonna wear it like that, I might wanna tie it here for sure. Yes, you, you could definitely wear it like this. I don't know. Yeah, you could. I mean, it gives a little bit of like nightgown vibes uh, without the, the waist tied, but not so much in person. I, more on camera, I feel like it looks, kind of gives the nightgown vibes, but in person, obviously with like the pleating and everything, that makes it more formal and pulled together and less nightgowny. You could also just tie this in the back, um, just to give it like a little shape back there and bring it in a little bit here so it's not so wide if you didn't want to like completely tie it but I, ooh, it's twirly Whew. gotta love a dress with a twirl this one may be one of my all-time favorites from amazon and i don't usually care for short dresses uh it's not typically my thing but i love this like crinkle stretchy material it is so cute now I sized up in this. First of all, you caught that it has pockets. You caught that, right? You did. You know. I sized up in this. I went for a large because I'm always scared of short dresses, and I knew that with something very stretchy like this that it would likely be forgiving if it was a little too big, but I wanted it to be longer. I'm 5'8", and sometimes short dresses are just way, way, way too short on me. So I thought if I had any hope of this one not being a flasher, if you know what I'm saying, that sizing up would help. And it does, it definitely does. I mean, it's kind of just above my knee and then in the back. I mean, obviously when you wear a short dress like this, you gotta be careful, you can't be bending over all willy nilly and stuff like that. It's such like a comfortable fabric and I kind of obviously like have it a little more dressed up right now with like wedge espadrilles um, and jewelry and all of that kind of stuff. But I totally see this as just like a comfy, throw it on with some tennis shoes. Uh, or sandals, just regular like low-heeled sandals, totally make this more casual and, you know, hang out and just when it's hot. Stuff like this is great because it's gonna be a very breathable fabric. It's gonna breathe, okay? It's gonna allow you to kind of wear long sleeves, but it's gonna breathe, if you will. I don't remember what other colors it comes in. I told you what size I got. I'll put any other information down below, but this is one of those that y'all are just gonna have to trust me on and take my word for it when I tell you that this may be one of the best finds I've ever found on 
Amazon because I can't like really show you super well. You know the curtain material that's like called Dupani silk curtains? It has that um, kind of like you can see the lines. I don't know how to explain it. The very like high end fabric feel. I feel like this dress came from J. Crew or somewhere else where it would have cost a lot more money than what it did on Amazon. Now, obviously, I am not wearing the right brassiere with it, but you're going to have to give me grace on that one because, quite frankly, I'm just too lazy to go all the way in the house and get a different bra. It's not the right one. But this dress, much like the first one, can be worn up like that, or you can let the sleeves kind of fall. Whoops, there goes my microphone too. Or you can let the sleeves kind of fall if you want, or like kind of cap them, put them just over your shoulder so it's like a cap sleeve almost. I personally like them up all the way like that. I think it brings kind of this cute like feminine element to it. The sleeves right here are not too tight. They're very stretchy and they're not like pulling on my arms. This wide angle is making me look weird. They're very like loose and flowy. This is a small, it has pockets. It's got a little bit of smocking right here at the chest and then not, so it just like comes out and then falls off. And very forgiving of many different uh, body types. It's just kind of flattering because again, it's the guessing game. What's under there, is it good? I don't know, it could just be a big old mess, but who cares? It's the same when you're wearing a dress like this, you know what I'm saying? Kept the espadrilles on, but you could totally wear it with some uh, flats some other kind of sandals. Could toss a little hat on with it for like vacay style, you know what I'm saying? I think this dress is probably gonna become a summer staple for me because it is just so comfortable, so flowy. The fabric isn't gripping, but it's also like got a heavy enough weight that it's hanging well. Sometimes flowy is great, but if it's too cottony or gauzy feeling or whatever, it doesn't have enough weight to the fabric, then it just catches. This isn't like that. It's got plenty of weight, it's not see-through. I mean, you guys, I'm kind of in love with this dress. I intend, you probably won't see it much on camera because I try not to wear black on camera. It's just not good. But um, in my everyday real life, I will be wearing this dress a lot. I love it so much. Jesse, what do you think? She doesn't care, but I love you guys. I, norm I asked you for your opinion, but I'm just gonna tell you that I'm keeping this dress and I'm gonna go look and see what other colors they have too. Okay, okay, I got this one in a small. Did I say that already? Probably. All right, this is another great black maxi type dress from Amazon. Uh, this one has, so you can adjust the shoulder straps in it. You can see that mine's kind of nice and high up here. You can adjust these straps in the back with a button like you do little kids, like pants, overalls kind of things. It does that in the back. You guys know what I'm talking about? It's not even like a similar fa fabric to the last one. This one, um, is not like a gauzy fabric. It's a heavier weight fabric in the sense that it holds itself down. Sorry, I just squat now. Um, in the sense that it holds itself down, but not heavy in the sense that it's hot, if that makes any sense. Good Lord, how many times can I fit that word in? I really love this one. I got this one in a medium. So you can kind of see that in the movement of it. I got this one in a medium. This is from The Drop. Um, and I do tend to size up in their brand, just depending on what the item is. Probably because of like how much of my bra is showing in the back, I would probably um, just wear like a cute bandeau bra or something like that with it, something that I'm cool with showing, or even just some pasties, you know what I'm saying? Just the like nip things here and call it a day. You wanna talk about easy breezy. Uh, I'm gonna need a tan before I wear this outside of my home. But you guys let me know, what do you think? Should I just get a different color? Should I keep the black? This is one of those outfits that when I saw this on Amazon, I thought, my goodness, that is cute, but probably not something I would wear. I don't know. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to order it. We'll try it on. Let's just see what happens. Okay, let's get crazy. So I ordered it. It comes in like a cream or this green color. And because I'm me, of course, I went for the green that's like an olive sort of baby poopish green. But I absolutely love it. Two pieces, so you have your like cropped sweater. Again, this is from The Drop, so I sized up. I'm 5'8", so if you're not that tall, if you're not taller than me, then you should be fine, and it also depends on where you want the skirt to hit. So the skirt is like a crocheted skirt. It's meant to be high-waisted. I'm trying to show you guys without like showing too much skins. I want to make something on both our skins. So it ties right here at the waist and you can kind of like cinch it in. Obviously like the underwear and stuff you wear with it matter, but it's like a crocheted skirt that ties right there and then you've got your more of a cropped, that's just the 
tag inside of it, so I'll just need to cut that off. So it's like a maxi skirt. It's a little tighter fitting. It's got a liner that goes to about here, about mid thigh, um, and then it's completely the like crochet sweater material but beneath that. Uh, but <laughs> I really like this. I really like it. I lived through the um, through the like juicy couture two piece. Excuse me. I lived through the Juicy Couture two pieces. So this one is, you know, like matching tops and bottoms kind of a thing. But I really, really like this one. I got a medium in the top and bottom. They're sold separately. Uh, so you could just get the sweater if you wanted to or the bottoms. But I also like that you can get whatever size you want. So depending on your body shape, maybe you're uh, super teeny on the top and a little bit bigger on the bottom. You could do like a small and a large. Or uh, maybe you've got lots of tatas and you want like large on the top, but you got a teeny hiney. And so you need a small on the bottom. You know, we all have, we all come in different shapes and sizes. So whatever your shape and size, you can make work in this. And I really like it. I think this would be cute for a number of occasions. I'd wear this to church or to uh, a date night. This could also be really cute with, I've got it with sandals right now, but this could also be cute with cowboy boots maybe. I'm always looking for things I can wear my cowboy boots with. We're at the end of the video. What did you think? I'm filming the end before the beginning, like, so I don't, what did you think? Did you, did we like things? Did we find something good? Hopefully we did. Um, like I said, everything will be linked down below in the description box with sizes for you. If any of this piques your interest for a little something to wear to, um, you know, I don't know, just for fun or vacation or Easter or any number of things. Okay. We don't always have to have a reason. Jessie, she's sick of my antics. She's leaving. She's like, I'm done. Would you shut up? I will. That will be the end of this video, y'all. I will see you guys again very soon.